Hi everyone, today in Photoshop I'm going to be showing you how to install Photoshop brushes. This is a very simple thing to do and once you've got them they're great for adding effects to whatever you want. It's great for adding that personal and brilliant touch to whatever. There are some great Photoshop brushes out there, collections of them, so you can, uh, you can download them free from loads and loads of websites. Um, so once you know how to do this you can do it again and again and again, add more brushes, take them away um, and it's really really great. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go onto your internet browser. Mine's Mozilla Firefox, whatever yours is, Internet Explorer, Oprah, Safari, whatever it is. Uh, and you want to type in Photoshop brushes uh, and Google search it. Um, now you'll see there are loads of options here. Any of them are good. Um, they're, they're all free, as you can see. Um, I'm going to go on to brusheasy.com because that's one of my favourites, which I use a lot. So I'm going to load that up. Uh, as I said, they are usually all free, free of charge. Um, and, yep, uh, totally free of charge, free to use, and there are some great ones out there. Okay, so we're on brusheasy.com. Um, uh, as you can see, there are some great graphics here in these images. Um, so you select the one you like the look of, uh, uh, so I'm going to scroll down until I find one that I like the look of. Um, that's quite nice. Um, actually, no, I'm going to click that. Okay, so I found one that I like. So you click the image, and you load it up. As you can see, it says Photoshop version CS3. That means it will work with Photoshop CS3. It should work with CS1, 2, 3, and 4, but it's specifically designed for CS3. Click download. Wait for the download to begin, and click save file. Uh, select your location where you want to save it, I'm clicking desktop and click save and it's a zipped folder, uh, this format one uh, so it's finished downloading so I'm going to close that now and on my desktop, there we go, abstract light um, effects so I'm going to right click extract all and then click extract do you want to, yup I do uh, you can delete the zip file now, there we go and now you should have the unzipped folder in it you should have abstract lights set one um, type it's an ABR, uh, ABR format copy it um, and now go to my computer um, go to the operating system program files Adobe you want to click on uh, and down to Photoshop CS3 you want to go to presets and second third to the top brushes uh, and you want to right click paste and there we go, it's copied. Abstract light, set one. Obviously yours, that which you download, if you've chosen a different one, will be different. So you can close all that now. Um, and now let's load up Adobe Photoshop. Um, so as I said, there are loads out there. You can play with different ones. You don't have to download the one I downloaded. Don't download any that you like the look of. Um, it's the same process. Obviously it may not be the same name. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. So let's open a new file, new... Let's open a new project, 500 by 300 is fine, whatever, because this is just an experiment showing you how to use brushes quickly. I'll explore this more in some more video tutorials later. Now you want to click on the brush tool, you can hold down, make sure it's on the brush tool, um, as it is. And now we want to go to the top, and you want to go in the down arrow, and then to the side arrow. And you want to go down until the f you find the one you installed. Ours is called Abstract Lights Set 1. And there you go, it's right at the top because it's alphabetically set. Do you want to replace it? Click OK. Uh, and there you go, that's your brush set. That's all the different brushes. So select the one you like the look of. I quite like the look of that. So I'll copy that. You can't really see it, you can't really see it at the moment because the background's transparent. Uh, let's make it so you can. So you create a new layer. Uh, drag that to the bottom so it's the first layer. Select the paint bucket tool. Select the gray background to black. And there you go, there's the brush uh, that you can see. Now I'm going to double click the layer of the brush. I'm going to have an outer glow effect uh, just to make it look better. Gradient overlay I'm going to have. You can add any of these that you like the look of, but I'm going to have a gradient overlay. Uh, I'm going to set it to multicolored. Click on that, OK, OK. And there you go, that is the effect that you'll get uh, at the end. You can save this if you want. Um, just click, go down, down to File, Save, um, to whatever format you want, but I'm not going to save it today. But anyway, here is the final, um, the final version, the outcome image that I've got. Um, so as I said, play around, have a bit of fun, and thanks for watching, guys.